This is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and this is TGIF What Did I Make for Christmas? Um, posting this on Christmas because some of the things I need to give away and also some of the things I'm giving away are being given to people who watch these videos. So I've got my gotta turn it around very carefully because it's full. I have my super adorable Dollar Tree snowman mug full of coffee because it's early morning for me um, several weeks before Christmas and um, I'm going to show you what I've made so far and then in a couple weeks I'll post what I made ultimately um, like what because I'm still working on a few things. I have a couple things blocking, um, and I have a couple small things that I still need to start and finish that won't take any time at all. Um, so let's jump right into it. I have been a crafting fool, and it runs the full gamut of what I've been working on. So I thought I would share with you um, what that is. Some of these, th these things you have already seen, but I'm going to show it all together. So, yeah, the first thing I'm going to show you is the ornaments. I made ornaments, a uh, matching set of ornaments for Sadie and us, and I'll show you those first. Um, let's see. I made all of these patterns, if they're knitting or crochet, are linked on my Ravelry page. I made two snowman ornaments, one for Sadie and one for us. They're adorable. Uh, I made two cardinal ornaments, one for Sadie, one for us. I love these. I think these guys have so much personality. Next we have the penguins. I know off the top of my head that this is the snowman buddies ornaments. This one, this one is for me, and this one is for Sadie, I think. Whichever one has more purple is for Sadie. <laughs> okay. Another snowman buddies, if I can dig it out. Let me see. Oh, there he is. Is the reindeer. And one for Sadie and one for us. So that's four. I think I made six. Oh, here's another one. Just some cute little red birds and hat and scarves. One for Sadie and one for us. So cute. So that's one, two, three, four, one. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I made this one for Sadie because I already have a bunch of these on my tree. So that's six. This one is already on my mini tree also. So this is for Sadie. Seven. And those are the ones I made specifically for Sadie. I then also have these, which are going to go on top of packages, and Sadie will get one of them, as well as a bunch of other people in the family. We don't do a lot of gifts. We generally just do gifts for, for family and kids mostly. So I made all these gnomies. Which, which gnome is this? It's either Gnome is Where the Heart Is, I think this is Gnome is Where the Heart Is, or Here We Know, yeah, here, Gnome is Where the Heart Is, I believe. So I have all these, and one will go to Sadie, one will stay with us, and the others will tie on top of the packages for um, family gifts. But I love these guys, they're so cute. If you don't have this pattern, I highly suggest it. They're addictive, though, just a warning. I see a lot more of these in my future, because they're just so much fun. And they take no time at all. Um, for us, I'm noticing one is missing. Okay, for us, for our tree, which is still crafting for Christmas, I made the bobble ornament, and I stuffed it. I didn't add the ball inside. And I made these three guys. This is called Ho 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 is the name of the pattern. And I didn't make these for Sadie because they're enormous. Um, but I may make them next year. I'm not sure. We'll see. They're also kind of tedious. Oops, you see in the back of this guy. <laughs> let me let me not hold them by the strings. Ho, ho, ho. 
really cute. And there's, um, in their beards, they have pipe cleaners. And in their hats, too. So, ho, ho, ho. And those are for our tree, also. Um, the next thing I made has was given away yesterday. It was another Dobby, and I'll put a picture of that in here. Um, the person who we gave it to loved it, so that was great. And the next thing is for another friend. It was requested a messenger, a small messenger bag in alpaca fabric. So here it is. It has a flap here with a pocket. Um, it Velcro shut and there's two more pockets. There's the small pocket and then the main pocket. And this is just a child size. It's for a child. Um, the strap isn't adjustable. Um, I'm glad it's done. It, it was an extreme challenge for me because um, sometimes I feel like directions are written in a foreign language. And that's, you know, when you have to put stuff together, like we just recently bought this uh, portable um, shed. It's like a tent that's a shed. And the instructions are written as if they're in Greek. <laughs> so... It's like missing words and stuff. That's kind of how I felt about this bag. But I got it done. It came out great. And I think the recipient is going to like it. So alpaca bag. Ha ha ha. Alpaca bag. So there's that. As many of you know, Kristen's mom passed away at the end of July. And um, I wanted to do something special for uh, a few people that helped us out while towards the end of... Um, Carol's life and for Kristen and her brother and her dad. So um, I have this bracelet here that I made um, and the beads are made up. The beads are made with um, flowers from Seth's funeral. So this is mine. This was my test to see if I could do it. And I did. So for for two of Carol's closest friends with beads for, with flowers from Carol's um service, she didn't have a funeral. Um I made these bracelets with the angel wings and the heart on them. I don't know, yeah, you can kind of see that. For The nieces on Kristen's side, I had asked them what they wanted and let them pick out their own flower, and they both asked for a bracelet. So I made these for them. Um, they're, they're peach. Their flowers were peach. And on one of them, we have an angel wing. And on the other, there is a butterfly. Now... At the service, Kristen gave a eulogy, and this butterfly came and just circled her the entire time she was giving the eulogy. It was, it was touching. It was really sad, but it was heartwarming at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. And pretty much every time that I've gone up to the cemetery since then, other than since it started snowing, the um, butterfly has been, not that butterfly, but the same type of butterfly has been there. I can't remember what, what kind it was. I think it was a swallowtail, if I remember correctly. It's yellow and black. It's beautiful. Um, and it there, there's been one there almost every single time, except for when it got really cold. So, And for three of... Uh, Carol's fellow nurses who helped us um, towards the end of her life and then um, with the we did a little um, luncheon after the service for everybody um, I just made these and they just have this I'm kind of awkward here they just have a little flower bead on them I can't even figure out how to show that to you Oh, gosh. I'm not a jewelry maker, so... Oh! Anyway. You'll have to take... There you go! Flower! So, 
I made three of those different color for each of them and um, we are seeing them today so these are going out today for Kristen and her brother and her father I wanted to do something different last year for Christmas my mother gave me a, a silver I think it's pewter um, angel ornament with a bead um, from Seth's funeral that she had made for me and I wanted to try and replicate that and I was able to do a, a fairly decent job I didn't want to use angels because Kristen's family is not religious so I found some snowflakes and I did that and this is what it looks like this is the one for her brother out of the same flowers that her niece has picked out it has a peach bead in it this is Kristen's, it has a white bead in it. And finally, this is for Kristen's father, and it has a red bead in it. So I'm very happy with how these came out, considering I do not know what the heck I'm doing. And I think it'll be a nice piece of Carol there with us this Christmas, this first Christmas without her. So, that is a that. Um, what else is in my box of tricks here? Um, I made for my, for Kristen's brother and his family, I made these. I'll show you them just plain to start. I made four of them because there's four of them. They are um, bowl cozies for soup or whatnot, and they work with a shallower bowl also. And I made these because my sister-in-law is on the road a lot with with our niece Leia um, for gymnastics because the gym is a fair distance away. So I was thinking that it would be nice to have soup in the winter when you're, after you're traveling a lot. But what's better than soup is soup that you don't have to do anything about. You just plop it in a pot, turn it on, go, and come home, and your house smells delicious, and it's all cooked. So my sister-in-law is um, gluten-free. So I found some gluten-free crock pot soups. And we're going to give a little gift card to buy the add-ons that you need to make with this. So there's three meals. Oh, this one doesn't say gluten-free, but it did on the website. Maybe it's just in a different spot. Maybe this one isn't. I don't know. But at least two of them are. I tried. Um, so this with the bowl cozies I thought was a nice practical gift and something that hopefully would be useful and serve a purpose during the busy winter months when there's a lot of traveling going on. The last things I made I used my silhouette to make and the first is a bag for Zelda Z that has the Nightmare Before Christmas on it and it also has with it um, a little oop, 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 notions bag that says Z on it with her boyfriend Jack Skellington I should unhook this but I'm not gonna <laughs> and I think she'll like it um, it's hard to shop for the girl who has everything so that'll be going in the mail this week to her and for Sadie I'm doing a princess theme for her for Christmas. I made her this shirt that just says it's pretty sparkly. It says Disney Princesses Squad Goals. Very sparkly. And the last two things are for the nieces on Kristen's side. The first is our older niece is into David Bowie. And Kristen found this image and asked me to make it into a shirt, so I did. You can see it you can yep love how that one came out couldn't be happier with that one let's fold it up so it doesn't get wrinkled because I am now going to wrap these and for our gymna gymnast of Anise 
I made this shirt for her. And I made them oversized because there's nothing worse than a shirt being, you know, too tight in certain spots. And um, I'm going to pause right here and come back in a couple weeks and show you what else I made. I have a few more things finished for Christmas. There's still a small thing that I would like to get done, um, which I don't think is going to be a problem. But I have another batch of things that need to go in the mail, so I wanted to show you these. Um... Uh, my brother, last year, like 2016, requested a hat, a Bernie's Mountain Dog hat to match Sadie's. So I finally, a year and a half later, decided to make him one. And this will be going in the mail today, uh, which is not Christmas, but you're seeing this on Christmas. And here it is. It's really cute. I haven't made a Bernie's Mountain Dog hat in so long. Um, this is my own pattern that um, is written in chicken scratch that only I can understand. So uh, not available, but really cute. I think he's going to like it. Um, yes, he's a 30-something year old man, and he's going to wear, not going to wear, he's going to rock a Bernie's Mountain Dog hat. Um, I also finished some Christmas stockings, one for Kristen's dad and one for Gracie to match ours. So this is the one for Kristen's dad. It's knit out of um, the local sheep farm yarn, which is the same as ours. And thank God I did it this year because this was the last year for the, the yarn at the sheep farm. They're retiring. So there is her dad's. And this is Gracie's. This is an adapted pattern from a Mary Maxim um, booklet. It is linked on my Ravelry page, but it's heavily edited um, because I wanted to knit it in the round. I did a different heel. I did a different toe. Um, yeah, but those are done. Yay. And finally, sorry, I'm looking at my phone. Finally, I made a couple angels, one for my mother and one for my sister. And this is a pattern from Repeat Crafter Me. It is not on Ravelry, but on my Ravelry project page, I put a link to where you can find it, but it's not like a direct link on Ravelry. So there's this one. This is just knit out of, not knit, crocheted out of Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. I think the white is something different. Maybe Red Heart Soft, I'm not exactly sure, or Impeccables. So I made that one. And this one and this is the first one I made and I finished the hair and realized I had put the hair so that the face was on the side with the wings so I had to take the wings off and uh, re-sew them to the back Once one wing is down but I think they came out pretty cute I think they'll like them I hope they'll like them something small but I think they'll like them Gotta fix this hair a little bit. It's a little jacked up from. It's gonna be messed up when it gets there anyway, so she'll have to fuss with it. But it came out pretty nice. See you in a few days. Final thing I made is for the new RV. Um, in the fall, Kristen and her dad bought an RV. And. One, what we did for Christmas was we got a lot of the stuff that goes into the RV for Tom. And as a gag gift, um, I decided to give him an RV dishwasher. Um, we don't have a dishwasher at our house. He has one at his house, so he always jokes, I'll do the dishes. So I got him. I just, I just made this on the silhouette. I got him an RV dishwasher. And I have to get some tissue to wrap this up, but here's the RV dishwasher. Dawn soap. <laughs> and a dish scrubby to wash with, and a dish scrubby to go in the washing machine. Because yes, the RV has a washer dryer in it. So, one to use, one to wash. One to use, one to wash in the 
RV dishwasher. And I think this is going to be a good laugh. So that is all that I made for Christmas. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate a wonderful holiday, if you celebrate a different holiday. I know Hanukkah is over. Kwanzaa starts tomorrow, I believe. But I hope you all have a wonderful holiday, Tuesday, whatever it is. But I'm going to have a Merry Christmas.